Hi folks, it's Max from NexusSHacks.com. So I've got a quick overview of the CM10.1 for your Nexus S or Nexus S 4G. Um, this is Cyanogen Mod 10.1. And uh, for those of you who don't know how to customize it, let me just kind of walk you through. This is probably one of the most stable ROMs. Um, this is the Night Lease. Uh, I'll have a link to the one I used, um, but you can also download the latest version. And uh, in settings here, let me show you the uh, lock screen here first. And uh, this is something I customized. I'll show you how to do this. Um, there we go. And uh, let me walk you through. So if you go to settings uh, launcher here, you'll be able to set uh, your home screen grid size. Um, instead of the default 4x4, I got it 5x5, five five, uh, which is really nice. And also additional stuff you can do here. You can get rid of the search bar if you don't like it. And you can see I've got uh, five by five. You can go a little bit higher if you want to. And uh, let's go back to the settings here. And let's try uh, lock screen here. And uh, here, screen screen security, uh, maximize widgets. Um, this one, basically, with the Android 4.2.1 or 4.2, uh, basically, regularly you'll be able to just unlock it if you click that on. It will actually maximize whatever widget you have there. So I've got actually my Chronos widget there. And let me show you how to set that. Um, also, view sur slider shortcuts. You can set different shortcuts to Gmail, uh, whatever, and make sure you hit save, and you'll be able to get uh, different shortcuts, your favorite shortcuts. Boom. And then uh, this is kind of cool button actions. Um, I've got my menu button as flashlight. Uh, so when I'm in my lock screen, if I hold down my menu button, that will turn on my flashlight. And if I hold down the menu button again, it will turn it off. So that's kind of a little nifty action, but I really like it. Kind of customize everything you want to do there. And uh, themes, you can download your CM10, CM9, IOKP themes from the Play Store and change themes. It should be mostly compatible. And uh, there's some extra ones here. Let's go to system here. A status bar display uh, notification count this will display how many emails you have how many updates you need to do on Play Store how many uh, uh, tweets do you have you know all that good stuff so that's good um, quick settings panel um, it's there and notification drawer if you want additional uh, widgets here uh, you can mess with that in the power menu this is the power menu you can add different ones or get rid of it if you don't like it um, clock widget. <clears throat> this is additional widget you can set. This is what I'm using right now. Um, you can set uh, different ways to display your clock and also set your weather. I've got polling weather for San Francisco here in uh, Bay Area. And also my calendar It's going to pull from my Gmail. So once you have that set, go to your lock screen and regularly you will have um, this widget here. So what you can do Pull it down, uh, and that will show me my my widget there. Um, you can always change the widget like this, and add another widget. Um, actually, that's the default one. So now, if I want to add the one I just made, the Chronos, add the Chronos widget. All right, and then uh, then go back to the, your normal lock screen. This is the first lock screen, and hold down and get rid of it, and this will push it there that way. Or you can also just hold down on the widgets and kind of move around if you have multiple widgets. Also, that's how you do it. Now, you see how you can't see the information. You actually have to go like this. So if you don't want that, like I told you before, you can go back to the, um, the settings here and change that back. Uh, where was it? Oh, maximize widgets. So now, uh, without doing anything, I'll be able to see uh, the weather and also my calendar. So that's nice. So that's kind of a walkthrough of the settings. And also you do get Android 4.2 camera. Now Photosphere is not available for this one. Um, there is a way to hack it, but I don't really recommend it. I haven't really, you no, know, if you figure it out, don't forget to <laughs> leave it in the comment section. Um, a very stable one. Uh, there is there is a way to do it. Uh, and also Gmail, you'll get uh, Android 4.2 Gmail. You can swipe away. And also, you can zoom in and out of your email. Um, 
Should be able to. I don't know why it's not working. That's weird. Um, so check it out. CM 10.1. And make sure when you install this ROM, uh, do install the G apps for 4.2.1. If you don't, you will not get Play Store. Uh, but looking, the nightlies are not too bad. It's looking pretty good. I mean, it's very solid. So try it out for your Nexus S or Nexus S 4G. If you want a stable uh, 4.2.1, and also um, Raspberry Jelly is also very good too. Um, that one's one of my favorites also. Uh, so check it out and let me know what you think. And uh, if you have a Nexus S, as always, um, don't forget to sign up for my email list at nexusshacks.com. We update you once a week with Ramla Week tips, ha tips, hacks, and more. And uh, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me here, subscribe button up there. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Stay high on Android and keep flashing ROMs. Yeah. But this ROM is pretty fast. I mean, it turns your Nexus S into Nexus 4 pretty much. Very fast. See y'all.